left you guys last time I was rushing off to, to another class and I had a couple of problems here with this last bit of the stair rail. Um, just to review a couple of things first, um, there's basically four steps involved in this assignment. The first one was to edit the path of the stair sketch and we did that in the first floor plan. Here we were able to make the stairs have this kind of funny shape. I think everybody got that done. Um, I don't think anybody didn't get that part done. We hit the edit the sketch and uh, we were able to reform the boundary. Now this comes into play uh, with this last little problem I had where we were sketching the uh, modifying the, the, the one shorter piece of railing and the slope wasn't coming out right and uh, we had one of our students catch the problem and, and solve it so when I analyzed the drawing I saw what was going on and basically what's happening you'll notice the edge of the stair ends here so when the railing continues past that point it starts going around this curve and it, it, it drops precipitously from, from this point it drops one step two step three steps very quickly um, because every time you're crossing one of those black lines you're, you're dropping another another height so we're gonna see how that plays in into this last little problem okay so that was the first thing we did is to edit that sketch then um, after we got out of that sketch mode we uh, I'll go back over to the 3d view um, then we modified this railing and we made some extensions on the end and we made it return into the wall and we also had to bring it up closer to the wall. We also removed all the balusters from that railing and um, removed the top rail so that the only thing left is the piece of the, of the family called the, the handrail portion. Yeah, that was step two. Um, step three is we modified the this railing and um, we changed the location of it, we changed the uh, length of it, we edited the sketch, and then we added several new components to that um, and changed the baluster type and the newel post. And then finally we played with the top rail specifically um, and that's where we ran into some problems. And what we can see here, I've got it highlighted, what we can see here is those two rails are not parallel. So um, modifying this, the sketch of this top rail was particularly challenging. Uh, and the way we had to do that is we went into the, the we, we grabbed the, the, the entire assembly and we went in to edit the type there. Excuse me, I'll pull this back on the screen. Um, and then we had to go to the um, top rail uh, type here and we had to redefine this type so that we could make an existing top rail type and and that is how we ended up getting that better profile so you can watch the previous video and it talks about all those things okay so long introduction what I want to do though is um, modify a couple things about this rail to make it parallel again and uh, it's a pretty interesting problem so I'm gonna pull up a double window view I'm gonna pull up tile my windows I don't need the 3d view but I do need the plan and the and the, and the uh, 3D view there to show up. And so, <clears throat> first things first, one of the reasons that rail is dropping off and getting so low on the end is because it's trying to make up for the distance of dropping one step, two steps, three steps, all in this one little distance. I, I guess that's the best way to put it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna edit the path of the railing. So I'm gonna double click the railing I get that little pink path and this is the problem right here is the, how that line is sticking out too far. It's trying to go from here from this nose down to this nose in a period of about three inches. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull that back so that it's behind the nose of the last stair like that. Okay now when I hit done on that that just changed the length of the railing but look what it did to my uh, railing. Now they are parallel so that's really beautiful. So I'm going to keep that. Okay, now the next part of this is I need to um, get this newel post to be back in the center. We can see it's, it's no longer in the middle where I want it. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the, uh, the rail again and I'm going to say edit type and the baluster placement I'm going to edit the newel post position. So I'm going to say um, the space for the newel post here is going to be five inches. Let's try five inches and see how that works. And I apply that, I say okay, 
and then I apply that and I can see it jumps out like that. Went a little bit too far so I'm actually going to go back in there I'm going to change that to be just four inches. I'm going I'm to get it until I like its position and plan view here. So baluster placement and let's see we're going to say five inches is a little too far. Let's say three and apply that okay and then apply it again and I'm that's a little too close so let's do it again. Let's go to four. I guess I could have measured first. Uh, maybe four, uh, let's see four apply that it's a little too far so you know I'm guessing I should have measured but that's okay I'm excited to get this done correctly okay we're gonna go with that three and a half that looks really nice so now my null post is in the right place and my railing is the right slope and what's wrong with it is that the um, the, the railing doesn't touch the null post so I now I need to figure out a way to correct this and this is something I learned um, in a video earlier today and thought, oh, that's interesting, I don't need it. And then uh, when I saw the correct version of it by one of our classmates, I was like, hey, that's what happened. So we're gonna use it now. I'm gonna go ahead and um, use the tab select to be able to select that rail, that top rail, tab, select, and I've got just the top rail. Now there's the gap I'm worried about. That's about the three inch gap. And I'm gonna say edit rail. And when I edit the rail, you can see here's the profile and there's the path and here's the profile and there's the path. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say edit the path of the railing. And I'm going to add a little line to the end of this railing. So I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to say add a little line. Oh, come on now, do it. You can see how it's pale green. That means it's going to be parallel to the previous line. And it adds that little extension. You can see it in plan, which it, I had a hard time drawing it in plan view. I had to draw that in, in, in 3D, which is really weird. I think a, a parallel view would have worked best, but it can only draw in one plane. It has to be on the same plane as the, as the existing rail. So I, I can hit it here and make it work. When I finish that, takes a couple clicks to finish it but what I get now is a railing that goes out to the end and um, creates a creates an extension now I'm seeing a little line there that makes me think I probably am not quite parallel that there's a little kink in that line so I'm gonna actually undo that and then go back in there and do it again because I don't want to have a kink in my railing so I'm gonna go in here and Make sure that I'm going at the right angle. Uh, I'm still getting it. I don't think that'll be a big deal in the end, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Um, but there we go. So now we were able to get the railing to stop at the right slope, or at the create the right slope by stopping somewhere where we're on a constant slope instead of this spiraling slope. I used the rail extension to do this, and I moved it out with a newel post. Now we've got one other issue, and that's that one baluster is right here on this last, uh, right inside the wall. So I think there's probably two or three ways we could deal with this. We could move the wall back a little bit. That'd be one thing to do. Um, I'm gonna do the same trick though. I'm gonna actually make the rail just a little bit shorter. If I can get it. And edit the path of that railing. And I'm gonna, oops. First, I need to edit the path of the whole rail. Make this a little bit shorter. Uh, let's finish that and make sure we're good. See, that left with just one baluster post now. And then I'm going to edit the rail. I'm hover, tab, click. I've only got the top rail selected. I can say edit rail. And I'm going to add a little length of line to this over on this end also. So um, say edit path rail piece and then let's get this squared up. Let's say from here I'm going to go up to the face of the wall and then finish that. It takes two finishes to get it done. And there we go. That finished it out. Now I'm not exactly sure why I'm seeing that little break. 
that little line, but um, that's not a concern for us. We could, we can certainly live with that. All right, so that finishes up uh, those railings and makes them look really nice. Good luck, guys. Uh, I will uh, talk to you soon.